Here we go, you two. Part two of Heavy Rain. Let's see how I fuck this up. So far, so good, but do you know me? <laughs> you know me. Yeah, dude. Let's see what happens. Oh, we stopped at this, right? The trial. Oh, we have to, like, kill a man. Okay, right. Hey, mister. Oh, we have the potential to kill a man. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. Yeah. I said a thousand times a... What's up, hey. motherfucker? Take it easy, man. Huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? So? Money? We're just right in. Oh, nice sandals. Tell me what you need. Sure, we can make a deal, huh? Gosh, I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! Oh, fuck! Oh, shit, he's got a gun! over his books oh damn how many shells does he have in this oh fuck oh he's out of ammo hold it man I give you whatever you want you got dope I got cash you, you want some dope Please, please don't kill me, man. I got children. These my girls, see? This one's Sarah, and a little one, that's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father, too. All right, anyway. But I have no choice. Let's get out of here. I don't give a shit about your kids. I don't even know you. Fuck off, homie. I need to save my kid. They're probably scarred for life. You can fucking see them in hell for all I care. Anyway, yeah, I killed this guy. There you go. Put a dog filter on it. Oh, okay. Don't sell dope. I don't fucking know. Anyway. Oh man, you died in your kid's room. Oh yeah, that's gonna fuck him up. Yeah, that's gonna scar him for life. Hmm. Maybe I should, like, clean up my vomit. Isn't there DNA in vomit? In the gun grip. Once again, Ethan. Why don't you check the things given to you before you have to do this... Hello? Right stick? Uh, before you do this weird shit. Makes too much sense, you're right. I am- I am a robot slash alien in a human skin, so... So, so far the motion controls have been fine. The only thing that's kind of janky is when you have to wiggle the right analog stick up and down. Or like right there, we have to hit it down. Sometimes it just doesn't... work. Like I had to do it like three times. 852, ho, rose, elt. Is it 852 Theodore Roosevelt? Is that it? Ah, oh, my favorite president. Good old Theo! How is my hand still usable? It's fucking, it's treated. We're fine. Alright, I don't feel guilty. I don't know these people. I don't have any empathy. Why would I give a shit? Achievement unlocked, I'm a killer. Trying to save my son, dude.
SMH my head. I don't give a shit. John! Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Matt, be careful, okay? I'm on it. Talk to you later. I'll fucking try. The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. Hello? Housekeeping. Hi, Colin Mockery. Can Hi. I come in? Uh, I was told that you could get Betropin. Without a prescription. Sorry. You this does kind of look like Creed from The Office. Hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. This guy's this guy's hella sketchy. Like his shirt though. So you're looking for betropin, my dear. Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know. Um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I mean, I said no, but I don't think that really mattered in the story. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? Mm. Yeah, dude. Steve-o. I can't remember. My brain's fried with all these pills. Can't tell Dave from night half the time. Do you have many clients? A few. I help to ease their anxiety. Social distancing. Enough, <laughs> yeah. Thin enough, hard working enough. I reassure those who find the system too difficult. I'm like a safety valve that keeps society from imploding. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. Why not make it more obvious that I'm a lot that I'm lying? You're not drinking? Yeah, sure I am. I said no! I hit the wrong button, I think. Well, that was a mistake. Having some trouble. Why would B be yes? Didn't your mother ever warn Fuck! you about accepting gifts from I hit B! B is always no! Why would you do this? <laughs> well, god damn it. Sorry, bitch. My bad. Whenever the, like, text is shaking like that, it freaks me out. Ah. Say hello to Matthew. Oh, hey, Matt. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I read it to my friend Paco, if you must know. 
I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. Ooh, the Blue Lagoon! Is that the same as the Goo Lagoon? Damn, just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. <laughs> I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't Sean! Sure! against me. Sean! Sean! Hold on. This might sting. Sean! 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 Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. Oh. That worked out. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Eh, eh, Don't eh. move. I won't be long. All right. I'll wait, since you asked nicely. This is dope. <laughs> Hammer! Why would he throw that at me? Oh, damn. Let's dance, Colin! In the nards. Dude, this guy's hella persistent. Like that, Colin mockery. No, bad Colin, bad Colin. Oh, I have the thing in my hand. looking for like Benadryl or some shit two scenes two murders yeah the blue lagoon yo it's angel thank you for the gifted subs flexies uh, Octavia June uh, Karina Stormwalker Pepper 
taking space, free rider. Thank you very much. Time for the character I keep forgetting exists. Norman Jaden, or Jaden Norm, whatever the fuck his name is. Cyberpunk man. Yeah, dude, Jorman Nate, I don't fucking care about this guy at all. This guy drinks G Fuel and, I don't know, thinks he's in the cyber world. I can go back in my car right and just fucking leave. All right, no. This seems sketchy as fuck. Hey, Cracker! What you doing in there? Hey, man. Norman Jaden, FBI. Can we talk for a minute? Yeah. I'm looking for the owner of a blue Chevrolet Malibu 83. I don't give a damn how the car got here, whether you stole it or not. I just want to know who bought it from you. Sorry, ma'am. Don't ring a bell. I got a real bad memory for me. All right, well, thank you for your time. Perhaps I can help you to remember. If we find out that you sold the car to the man we're looking for, you're looking at some pretty solid time inside, Jackie boy. <laughs> you trying to scam me with What is this dialogue? Talk? I never saw your damn car. Take a walk. Jaggy boy. Time to enter the cyber world. This shit is so fucking bizarre. Blood. Now why is there blood here? Oh, no, not the hemoglobin. What is this game? I don't know. It's like a big meme, this game. Fingerprints. Probably Mad Jacks. It's, uh... I know the game is supposed to be, like, serious. But, uh... it It's just funny. It's just a funny game. Size 10. Most likely a visitor. It it's it is like a big meme. Besides like the Sean and Jason thing, it's just, it's just wild. Hmm. Not the car I'm looking for. The characters are kinda of whatever. Scott Shelby's kinda of cool. I like Scott Shelby as a character. But uh also Madison's not bad. Ethan is Ethan and this guy I just don't give a shit about at all, <laughs> honestly. Same brand of tire as the car I'm looking for. Is the killer's car being here? This guy is probably the one I care about the least, to be honest. Harry, come Traces of orchid pollen in the air inside the garage. Oh, there we go. A few traces of blue paint. Same tire tracks? No doubt about it. Killer's car was here. A lot of people don't care about Norman. I... Yeah. It just doesn't, like... Like, what is this? What are we doing? <laughs> like, I know we're looking for clues, but... You can't just, I don't know... Use your human eyes? Also, these scenes just... You walk around and hit a button. Which is, I guess most of this game, but you're, like, looking for clues and shit. It's just not really engaging. This is detective mode, like, from Batman, but not as good. It is a completely different genre, to be fair. Did I check this light? Oh, I think I did. Yeah, I guess the QTEs aren't fun either. I can't imagine playing this on the PlayStation 3 with how shaky the DualShock is. 
like a lot of people had to lose characters due to stupid fucking motion garbage. Can I go in here? Oh, hey. It was bad. At least playing on PC with an Xbox controller, you don't have to worry about motion. I saw um, gameplay people playing it on PC, and there was motion with, like, the mouse. You had to move the mouse like this or up and down like a goddamn DJ. Hey, uh, chat, Merry Christmas, by the way. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry, Merry Chrysler. Did I get everything? Is there anything I missed? Uh... I think I got everything. Yeah, now it's officially a Christmas game. You're right. I think I got everything. Alright, let me get the hell out of here. Everything in here anyway. Let me look outside. You better watch out. 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 Does this not lead anywhere? Like, hello? Hey. Oh. You got me, officer. How the fuck did he get in there? Now All right. that car, she buff up real good. I painted her dangerous blue. In honor of the dangerous motherfucker that was driving her. Hands on your head, pig. I ain't got time to be playing around with you. Let's just get you out of sight and finish you off. Can I take off my cyber glasses? It's hard to see. Oh my god. No, my cyber glasses! Ah! in the ass. Last chance, Jack. Make it easy on yourself. What you gonna do? You ain't got them killer eyes, so what? You gonna cuff me? Ugh! Broke my fucking nose, pig! Next, I'm gonna blow a hole in your face. Spill all of it. CSI. You ain't got it in you. I've no time to lose, Jack. I want to know who that car belongs to. There's an option for gasoline, I just what noticed. You want don't mean shit to me. I ain't no snitch. You better just lock me up now, boy. Do you like fireworks, Jack? Because I bet them gas tanks are going to blow up real nice. Shit, man. Don't mess with the gasoline. Well, just say it was an accident. Or rather, I'll say it was an accident because... This guy is really fucking tough. Fuck you, cop. Fuck you, pig. Whoa, whoa, the gasoline! Whoa! Well, calm the fuck down, man! That's gas! What? <laughs> okay. You won't barely be able to talk, will you, Jack? You crazy motherfucker. You out of your mind, man! Well, I don't know nothing about the guy. He wanted me to get rid of his dirty car. Get him a new one with false plates. He paid cash, and I ain't the question in kind. Said I was supposed to drop the word to a guy named Paco down at the Blue Lagoon when the car was done. Now that's all I know. We'll continue this discussion down at the station. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything? Uh-oh. Shit, not now. Anything you say can and will be. Hey. <laughs> You look like you got a problem, man. I got it under control. I got it under control. I got it under control. 
Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We're good. We're good. Just gotta take a hit of my G fuel. All right. All right. Turn around. Did he even take it? Yeah, he snorted it. How else do you take G Fuel? Shivy, Koala Man, Zer, thank you very much. Yo, chat, I don't know if you saw my tweet last night. I got, like, the crazy urge to start playing fucking Kingdom Hearts. I don't know why. I don't know what hit me. I wasn't, like, watching Kingdom Hearts or looking up guides or anything. It just fucking hit me. I want to play it. I don't know why. So, you think the origami killer killed Manfred? Very weird. Very weird. That makes sense. Didn't want him spilling his guts to us. And you suspect Gordy Crane... Oh, don't worry. Light knows. Oh, him or one of his men. Gordy has the time and the means, not to mention the fucked up attitude to go along with it. He's only a suspect, but... He's a pretty guilty That'll be 50% of my fucking 2021 streams? Maybe. Yeah, I've been working on them for a couple years. Uh, I built up a mountain of paperwork. Magazines about origami? You think the killer could have subscribed to one of those? If he was even remotely interested in origami in the last 30 years, his name may be in there somewhere. Trouble is, there's over 500 names. It gets a squat. If we don't reach the 20,000 sub points by the end of the month... I might, well, uh, no I might chef. just start playing it off stream. But I should be able to make some scrambled eggs if you like. Ooh. Great. I'm soaking wet. I need to warm up a little. Is it okay if I take a shower? I'll be my guest. Go to my bedroom. It's the next door. Oh, I'll cook up the eggs while you're under the shower. Did I say under the shower? I guess under the shower head. Surely you would say in the shower, though. All right. Anyway. Bring me eggs! I should prep those scrambled eggs. I guess the only reason that I can think of recently why I would want to play Kingdom Hearts is a big ass uh, guide slash roadmap was published on TA that I, um,. I saw was tweeted by True Achievements a couple of days ago. But still, I mean, I haven't played the game in, since I was a kid. And I know there's, like, a lot of them. And the completion is very long. I don't know. But yeah, we have it as our sub goal. We're at uh, 16,023 right now, so we're still, uh, we're still far away for Kingdom Hearts. So like I said, if uh, if, I, if we don't hit it, I might just start playing it off stream. But if we do hit the goal, then I'll play it on stream, obviously. Scramble in the eggs. Anything else I can do? Besides, nope, guess not. Walk around like a fucking idiot. Hmm, at what point do you think I turn off the heat? I want to give Kingdom Hearts a try. Uh, all of them are on Game Pass for a console. <laughs> I think every single one, like the two mega compilations and uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, I believe, are all on Game Pass. They are all on Game Pass. Yeah, there you go. So if you want to try it out and you have Game Pass, now's the perfect time. That just looks like a yellow pancake. Anyway. I took the liberty of borrowing your bathrobe. Sure. It looks better on you. Enjoy your eggs. I made them myself. Hey, that almost looks good enough to eat. What's that? The notebook I took from Manfred's place. According to this, about 30 clients bought spare parts for royal machines in the last 10 years. The killer may be one of them. 
Oh, you know, checking out the alibi of 30 clients yeah, one dude. by one. That's a lot of legwork. Except that if we cross-check them with the list. Yeah, dude. The list of subscribers to Origami magazines. You still got that, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. But Lauren, wait. Uh-oh. Your eggs are gonna get cold, Lauren! Your eggs! If the killer really used a royal typewriter and if he subscribed to an origami magazine, his name should be on both lists. Well, Lauren, uh, I mean, that's just an assumption, but yeah, I suppose. Can I, like, sit or something? So his name is here somewhere. Help me. We're gonna find him. Oh. Okay, I get... All right, sure, we switched. Is the typewriter not right there? No, don't don't worry about it. It's invisible. They can't see it. Yo, Ramius, Kinstam, MLG Mason, thank you, Donald Dip, VL, Midnight, appreciate it. Now we have a detective montage. Shelby, why do you look so concerned? The only guy whose name was on both lists died when he was 10. What are you gonna do now? Dig up his coffin, make sure he's dead? I know it doesn't make any sense. Unless the killer was only using his name. But why use the name of a kid who died 30 years ago? Shout out to the woman in the back. Well, that's what we came to find out. The name is John Shepard. It should be on a grave around here somewhere. You never give up, do you? Rose Attacker, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Why are they screaming? Because the rain is so heavy that they need to scream to overpower the rain. Oh, Jack Septicai. Rest in peace. Wow, I really have to look at, like, all of these. Or at least look for a prompt, because I can't fucking read Excuse these. Excuse me. I'm looking for the grave of a young boy who died about 30 years ago. His name was John Shepard. You wouldn't know where it is by any chance. The children's graves are in the next plot. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> All right, I guess, yeah, I guess we should look at children's plot. I was wondering where she was going. Woo, lad. Ah. Oh, Rip Arthur. Lived to be 14. Yikes. Yeah, dude. Steve-O, please. Sherry Coleman. Lived to be 13. She was beloved. Jim Williams. Lived to be uh, 11. I'm only looking at the years. I'm not looking at their birthdays, so I could be off. Wait, are they related? Oh, no, it's Williams and Collins. Man, this is fucking depressing, dude. All these dead kids. Fuck. She lived to be three. Can we get out of here? Christ almighty. Uh. Cool. Is that just a placeholder? I assume it's in this plot, but fucking, I don't... I can't... Come on, buddy, you can do it. Is it that one with, like, the blank... Blank slate? Wow, Ralph got a big one. Ralph was loved. See, my, I would not be in here. I'm 31 years old. I am not on the, uh... Children's... Okay, hey, she found it. I would not be in the children's plot. Oh, origami, huh? Origami figures. That's one hell of a coincidence. Hmm. 
These flowers are fresh. Looks like someone's still tending the grave. Oh, youngin'. That one I knew well. You knew John Shepard? I've worked this graveyard nearly all my life. I remember what happened. <laughs> Origami. It was in 77, October. Hey, Kona. He's drunk again. What are we gonna do? It's pouring rain. We're gonna get soaked if we spend a day outside. Well, this won't get beat. Little rain never hurt nobody. <laughs> Come on, let's go play. Jesus Christ. Also, this accent is also weird. I Bitch can't catch me. It's the kind of thing like when Tommy Wazow speaks and you're like, where are you from, Tommy? And he just doesn't say, and nobody knows. It's like they put like five accents in the blender and then this is what came out. Oh, is that the car right there? That blue car? Uh, are we just kind of chilling? Uh, prompt? There we go. LB. You were going to play at a construction site. What could possibly go wrong, dude? How do you enter the hair giveaway? Unfortunately, all my hair I cut off has been thrown out. Hey, we're going to get wet outside. Let's go somewhere where we won't get wet. Okay, a construction site with no roof or ceiling. So now we're going to get soaked and muddy. And probably tetanus if we're lucky. Move your ass. I'm waiting. Should have sprinkled the hair in the December Come orders. On. They're all sent out already. What's annoying is we sent them out, but Jeez, you're in nothing the USPS but sometimes doesn't scan them and just delivers them. So people are like, where's my order? It's been a week. It's Bitch like, do fuck, dude, we handed them all over. The USPS has been sucking peepees right now. But all the Black Friday orders are, uh, are out. I think there's only a couple of orders left that need to go out from like yesterday. But for those who don't know, the store is, uh, the store is closed until, uh, the 26th for the holidays. Come on, loser. Uh, how do I? Can I? There we go. What you doing? You're coming or not? Oops. This is, uh, kind of spicy. What the fuck? Very intense music. Oh, there he is. Are we going down the slide? What? <laughs> you guys ever go down a slide and scream a diehard quote? Hans Gruber! I don't. <laughs> do this, it's too hard for you. No chance. I can do it all right. Just watch. 
Oh, that's a weird motion. This game is only quick time events, yeah. It's um John, wait for me. I don't know what the genre is, but it's just like an interactive movie. All David Cage games are just interactive movies. Think of something like a Telltale game as well. This might be a little more involved, but Also, it's one of those games where if a main character dies, you don't get a game over. Like, whoops, the game just continues. Did David Cage pioneer these games? I mean, I can't think of a game like this before him, but I don't know if that's if that's accurate or not. Like the first one I think of is um, Fahrenheit or Indigo Prophecy. Are they running from something? No, they're just playing at a construction yard. Let's play hide and seek. You go and count to 20 and try to find me, okay? One. Don't have two, me count to 20. Don't make me hit A 20 times. I'm cheating. 20, Don't tell him. Kind of funny games. Yo, what's up, gamers? Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the gifted subs. Ooh, this camera is great. Hope you guys are doing well. Much love to you. Those guys. Love you, Ray. Yo, love you too. Love all of you and whoever's running the account right now. Oh, that looks bad. Oh, no. The heavy rain's going to kill him. What was that emotion, by the way? Help, my foot is stuck. Help me. How'd he get in there? Oh, he's playing hide and seek, and I guess he jumped in a hole? I don't fucking... Who knows, but man? The poor kid never did find any help. And his brother drowned in a pipe full of rainwater. The boy that lived, what happened to him? Well, all I know is he got separated from his parents. I, I think he got adopted. Well, looks like a storm's coming. I guess I better be getting home. This game does have a lot of dead kids in it. I gotta say. A lot of dead kids. An uncomfortable amount. Christ, what a horrible story. John Shepard drowned in the rain while holding his brother's hand. Do you think he... He could be the origami killer? Origami. Come on. Let's get back in the car. Hey, what's up, Frosty? How's it going? Wait. What's the matter? Oh, that guy. Over there. 
Ja? Charles Kramer. Gordy Spawner? What's he doing here? He's putting flowers on John Shepard's grave. That's suspicious. That's suspicious. Out for a round of golf at the cemetery. Achievement unlock the chef? Oh, because I made eggs. I'm like, okay. Does she not know how to whisper? Hey, be quiet. Do you see that guy? What? God damn it. Dude, I wish this was the John Wick club scene. Oh, Mendes. He's the guy who rented the Doc's apartment on Marble Street. All right, let's go, boys. Oh, look at this guy dancing. Hell yeah. Man, moving through this section is great. Where's Ricardo? Where is Ricardo? Everybody look for a red bandana. Excuse me. Pardon me. Cuting McHot's coming through. Excuse, excuse me. Oh, oh, please. I want to get to the bar. Hi, one water, please, on the rocks. I'm looking for Paco. Paco Mendez? What? Paco Mendez. God. Do you know him? I should. He's the boss. He's over there in the VIP lounge. That looks like a Paco Mendez. Okay. Dude, this reminds me of working at a bar. Everyone has to fucking yell because the music is too loud. Oh, did I guys ever tell you the one time I was working at a bar? This is like the one big mistake I made at the bar. But no one, like, cared because it was fine, but it was still embarrassing and it sucked. They have uh, those big racks where you put all the dirty glasses and stuff and you have to, like, take it to the kitchen uh, to clean them and then bring them back. So it was a Friday night. It was like this, except smaller. Um, usually, if the dance floor or the path to the kitchen is clear, I can hold the uh, yeah, bug racks. I can hold the thing in front of me. But since there's fucking people everywhere, I have to put it up and above me, which is great because dirty water, beer, whatever falls on me. But there's no, literally no other way to do it. So I'm walking through this maze of people getting drenched in God knows what. And I get to the kitchen. So the thing with the kitchen is it's not a straight shot. Like you just don't go through a door. It's kind of like you go in, you have to make a right and then like a left and then in. There's like a wall there you have to go around. So uh, I worked there for like oh, damn, a year, year and a half. I forgot how long I worked there. It's only happened. This happened, this happened one time. I, I'm drenched. My shoes are also slippery. You can see where this is going. I make it to the kitchen. I slip. The corner of the rack hits the wall, and I fucking drop it, and I smash all the glass. Everybody was fine. Nothing, you know, I didn't get cut. No one got cut, and we swept it up. But it was embarrassing because I was on the floor with a bunch of broken glass covered in everything. So that wasn't great. But uh, I think I think my my words when I when it all happened was I was just sitting there and I was like, "Well, that sucked." <laughs> but uh, you know, it was fine. Obviously, the place had a bunch more glasses and stuff. But I'm an adult virgin. we cleaned it up and we kept going. Thankfully, my dad was the bartender and I was the busboy, so everyone got a laugh. But uh, that sucked. That uh, that wasn't great. That was great. It was uh. Probably not, not great. But I never made that mistake again. I got some extra tips that day though, because people felt bad. I've got to speak to Paco. That's 
not possible. Mr. Mendez How old was I? Uh, 18, I think. All right, so, hmm. You won't let me see Paco, huh? What if I just go in? Sorry, lady. Damn Everybody it. Guests only. Paco! Paco! Hey! Let me in! You can work at the bar if you're 18? Uh, I mean, I wasn't consuming the alcohol. I was there to just clean everything up. Oh, you still won't let me in. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Hey, I'm with her. How the fuck? Am I not sexy in a dumb way? Oh my god, camera. Hey. Wow, that girl looks petrified. He likes bimbos, dude. Alright, um... I guess I'll... I don't know. I'll keep looking around. Oh, what the fuck? Hey, man. Uh, can I, like, I don't know, dance or something? I don't know what that guy's doing. What the fuck are these people doing? Dude, I'm gonna hit him with Gangnam Style. Uh, Gangnam Style wasn't out yet. Never mind. Am I supposed to get his attention by, like, dancing or something? Maybe I can get some liquid courage? How do I dance? Oh my god, the flashing lights. Jesus Christ. Alright, great view. Hmm. Oh, can I go upstairs? Maybe that's what I need to do. Excuse me, pardon me. To <laughs> do the floss. Jump on one of these boxes and start flossing. Oh, that looks crazy. Just kidding, sir. Just kidding. Oh, there we go. No, get. I want to go down the stairs, camera. Let me go down the stairs. Maybe I can catch his attention by strutting his stuff in the back. Yes, there we go. Paco's pet goon is letting anyone through. I forgot about the whole like. Have you have your else. thoughts, right? My bad. I'm gonna have to rethink my strategy if I want to talk. To All right, let me dance by him. I've gotta find someplace to change. Oh, wait, what? I gotta change, I gotta, oh my god, navigating through this is a, oh, get out of my way! Is there a bathroom? Hold on. Oh, okay, maybe I don't need to change. Oh shit, oh shit, my bad, I was dancing. No, keep dancing. That was my bad. I wasn't ready. I was dancing myself. There we go. We got it. Yeah? Fuck! I gotta look sluttier. Alright. Bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, that's the male bathroom. There's a female bathroom, I assume, right? I there we go. What? 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 One dollar. 
There we go. All right, make sure I don't have lice. Smart. A potential partner may not want lice. My hair didn't change? Uh. Oh, yeah, show some cleave. There you go. Get the cans out. Uh. Oh, okay. Well, that was... That is not a well-made skirt if you can just do that by hand. Alright. What do we got in here? I thought that was a pencil. Oh, I got the old number two out. Eh, eh, eh. Ha! Ah! Fuck. God, doing that motion in slow motion is not ideal. There we go. All right. It's almost like the Dead Space 2 eye machine. Nailed it. Is that how women put in makeup? They just put, like, the thing close to their eye and then they're like, I gotta do this motion and slow- Fuck! Gotta start here and make a counterclockwise- All right, I'm feeling sexy. I'm ready to dance. Dude, maybe I should take off my shoes. Maybe he's in the feet. I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, look at me. What do you think of me? Like the red and black? It's a good color. Good color scheme. Oh, I don't like this guy anymore. I don't. I don't like him. Oh, shake my rumpus. There we go. That woman looks dead in the eyes. Yeah, get out of here. Hey, you! Lucky day, sweetheart. The boss wants to invite you to his table. Hey, thanks for accepting my little invitation. Nice cockery necklace. Oh, out here, honey. I think I would have noticed you before. My name's Papa. Are you? Madison. I'm Madison. Ah. Using your real name, huh? Why do you move, Madison? You make me all hot on the guy. Maybe we can continue this conversation somewhere more private. Oh, cool, baby. Yeah, come with me. Why the fuck would you use your real name? I'm Paco. What's your name? Horace? Think you'd believe Horace is my name? What a coincidence. My name is also Paco. It's like taco, but with a P. Oh my God, the noises. I go in, I make him talk to the gun, and I get out of there before I get into big trouble. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything is going to be all right. You're crazy dedicated to your job as a journalist. So, welcome to my little kingdom. <laughs> oh, dude, nice fish tank. Is that a fish tank? Or is that a real clear TV? I can't tell. I'll take that. Just get in the way of good things, sweet cheese. Nice fucking katana, you weeb. So, show me what you got. Slowly. Take it all off. Okay, uh, could, could, 
Can I have a drink? You know, just a little drink to break the ice. We already broke the ice. Let's get wet. <laughs> Do your thing. This guy fucks. Not a chance. This guy fucks. Not a chance. Uh, could, could we just talk first? We don't need any more talking, baby. I all talk down. No. Paco and show me what you got. In front of the fish? I'm sorry. Um, I, I think there's been a little misunderstanding. Look, look. Uh, I, I'll, I'll just go. No harm done. Another time. I think it is you who misunderstood. What does that table say? Does that say hard? I'm tired of wasting my time. It's now or never. Does this table spell out hard? Take never for an answer. What a what a weird fella. Uh, 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 idea. Think of something. Just, there's got to be some way oh. out of here. Oh, I was talking to myself. Okay. Uh, do what it takes, Mad. Play for time. <laughs> what does she mean, play for time? What do you mean, play for time? Am I waiting for something to happen? This guy's a gun at me. Nope, that is stupid. Stupid. With this music, who's gonna hear me? Lesbian! Lesbian! Maybe if I told him I'm a lesbian. Oh, this is no time to start getting funny. Alright, I tried. His little hand motion, like, is so good. What the fuck do I do here? I can't get to my purse. I need my gun. My back's too far away. I can't get to my gun. I have to think of something else. The lamp, I guess? I'm gonna fucking get killed here. The lamp. If only I could find some way to grab it. Oh, I know. Oh, I see. Just a natural way to grab a lamp. Don't mind me, taco with a P. Oops, that's my booty. Baby, Bam! That's what I call kicking butt. You go, girl. You you go, okay. girl. Act two. Let's hear Lover Boy sing. Actually, before I do that, can I take his katana? I can't. God damn it. What's the point? Yeah, this guy's table spells out hard. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, anyway. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Hey. Wake the fuck up. If you call out, I'll kill you. Yeah, dude. Got it? Shit. What you want? You rent an apartment on Marble Street. I want to know why. An apartment? I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Oh, damn. Just punched him right in the forehead. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Not bad for a chica. But you only hurt my feelings. <laughs> Just punched some power. square in the head. <laughs> you fucking bitch! I'm gonna kill you, boss. Is everything all right? <sighs> Can I get a oh yeah? <laughs> this game is so fucking funny when it's not trying to be. If 
you value those prize balls of yours, Paco, then it's time for you to talk. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, what you doing? Stop it! Stop it! I'm only getting started. How about some more? Ah, I never started foot in that apartment. I gave the keys to some guy. He said he needed a place. He had money. What was that guy's name? I, I don't know his name, I swear. Ah, ah. Oh my god. Fuck, I ran out of fingers, dude. I gotta grab his balls again. Oh boy, here we go. Uh-huh. Yep. And then like that. It's clawing ah. my controller right now. Shepard. His name is John Shepard. Oh, That's John Shepard. That guy's dead. There, that wasn't so hard, was it? P for balls. I really appreciate this romantic moment, but I got a dash. See you next time, lover boy. Good thing he doesn't know my real name or anything, or what I look like. You go, girl. Time to get out of here. She left the gun. No, I think she put it in her uh, in her bag. I gotta navigate this shit to get out of here. Dude, that guy is not dancing. That guy's convulsing. So I'm gonna call an ambulance for him. Alright, we did it. I think. Oh, God. This fucking guy. Right. Oh, hey! Are you also gonna fuck this guy? I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Oh, there Get she lost. is. She just she walked out. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. Am I gonna play Donkey Kong Country 3 now it's on the Switch? I saw that. I might eventually. I played 1 and 2. Move my face cam so you can see the whole cutscene. Get me out of prison. That fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. I think my debt to you is paid. Don't fuck around, man. No. No way. I, I can still help you out. No. No. Don't keep me. Huh. All right. Let's see. Someone named John Shepard, who is a cop, or used to be a cop. Housekeeping. Housekeeping. Who could it be? I assume the bodyguard didn't hear it because the pumping fucking music. Time to enter the Matrix. So I feel like... Oh, yikes. Don't take his face mask off. There's a pandemic. Take the hat off, though.
No, the fish! The fish! No! You monster! You fucking monster! How dare you! Oh, please, come on. Can I pick up the fish? Oh. His coat pocket. I tore it off during the fight. I wanted the fish. Two receipts from the same gas station. I don't give a shit about this evidence. Interesting. I want the, the fish. Get the fish. All right, well, let me get my cyber glasses, I guess. Yeah, dude. Time to hack in. These are just like the shitty 3D glasses you get at movies. No, I don't fucking... I hate... I tried to move the camera again. We're like six hours in, I keep doing the same thing. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, well. Madison Page. What was a journalist doing here? Yeah, a, a journalist using her real fucking name. Horace Page, who's that? It's it's so wet. Dude, this is what this is what good pussy sounds like. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. So it's back here. Uh wait, there we go. <laughs> Paco Mendes was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. I like how the bodyguard still hasn't come in. At all. The killer was looking for something. Is that broken glass crunching? No, it's the water from the, uh... The, uh... The tank. Fish tank. I don't know why I forgot. <laughs> I forgot the word fish for a little bit. Madison Page? She may be a witness. If I was a bodyguard, I would be like, I'm not paid enough for this. That's fair. Um, is that everything? Let me look over here. Oh, there's that box down there. I don't think I can pick it up, though. Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, I guess the, I could look at the lamp. Okay, I looked at the lamp. No, no, my fucking god! All right. All right. I think we're good to check the body now. Hey, man. Oh, there's something at his foot. Though his feet sees. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Yeah, you needed the glasses for that. That's what you needed the glasses for. Thank you. Holy shit. He's a genius, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's everything. Have I killed any main characters yet? Uh, the bird in the beginning died. So that was kind of a bummer. Am I good to leave? I think I'm good to leave. Oh, hey, hey, your boss is dead. I didn't kill the bird or the fish. It was out of my control. What are the sub points at? Uh, 16,040.
So we're 960 away from a playthrough of Sonic Adventure 2. Why does he look dead inside? That's just how the characters look, honestly. Uh, yo, Rum Monkey, Blarg, yo, Plumbog. Plumbog? Plumbob. Thank you. King Rises, tier 2 sub. Enjoy your 65 emotes, man. Ah, Mr. Robot himself. Hey, what's up, Madison? I, uh, killed a man. Ethan, are you all right? I... I killed a man. <laughs> I had no choice. Oh, you did. I just didn't hesitate. I had no choice. Yeah, sorry about that. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. Woodermelon Queen, thank you for the four months. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. I mean, that does change that you're not the killer, even though you might think you are. I don't... What's your problem, Ethan? Well, I guess we can make Whoopi now, right? Why not? Oh, fuck. We're, go we're going in, boys. My wife hates me. Madison, Madison seems kind of cool. Nothing like a little bit of post-murder making out, boys. They're not... Their lips aren't touching. What? Okay. This is some David Cage kissing. I feel like this scene is going to make me asexual. This is so uncomfortable and awkward. Is this what it's like? Oh, right. I forgot I have band-aids fucking painted on me. Oh, wait. I, wait. Do it. Oh, okay. I want to suck your blood! It's the quick time events for sex. It's like the hot coffee mod. You can't cover my eyes. I need to have sex. I need to press the right buttons to have sex. I wish taking a bra off was that easy. I swear, dude, some bras are like some kind of medieval contraptions. I'm like, I didn't fucking go to MIT. I can't take this off. You do it. There's a bed right there! What are you doing fucking on the floor? Get on the bed! You guys are just dry humping at this point. Uh, are, are we on the bed now? I don't... Oh, no, we're still on the floor. They're just rolling over. Dude, stop, drop, and roll, homie. The bed is right there. It's not like even in another room. Just get up and fall on it. Oh, good. You put her shirt on, but her pants are off. Okay. Gotta do the slow big spoon move. Maybe grab a titty. Or the stomach. That works, too. Oh, I'm getting my hand back. All right. Oh, thank God my son is dying. Oh, she's out cold. She's in... It's fine. Listen, all right. I know my son's dying, but maybe he wants another kid, all right? Maybe he wants a brother. Listen, I got to look for the future, all right? 
Give me a chance, chat. Oh, let's, uh, let's rummage through her stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, Sean, too. <laughs> the rain is so heavy. <laughs> the physics on that shirt was wild. Can I look in her jacket or anything? Ooh, here we go. Uh-oh! What do we have here? What do we have here? Ooh. Ooh, a Stevo clip. Oh, that's... Was that me sleeping? That was fucking wild. Don't, don't like that one. Jesus Christ. I mean, she's a journalist, right? Did she say that's a guest? All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? What's the matter, trainer? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I I wanted to tell you, but what kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer. His the accent time. changed. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book. That's, is that a different voice actor? Cause he sounds completely different right now. What the fuck? I hope it went fucking worth it. Ethan, it's not what you think. I. What? You lied to me, Madison. All this time you fucking lied to me. I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book. Hey, say, uh, scream Sean for a second. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you, that you may not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. You know what? I'll forgive you. My wife hates me, so I got to start looking for new... New partners. I'm sorry, Ethan. You're pretty cute. I'm so sorry. That's fine. You know, if we didn't have sex, I'd still be mad, but that post not clarity, I'm thinking clear now. It's okay. Gone. It's alright. I get it. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. Why are the pants so stiff? All right, later, girl. Later. Yo, Thurston, thank you for the 69 months. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Wait for me. I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Oh, that was kind of a weird cut. Interesting. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom quickly, chat. Give me one second. Let me actually take, put the recording back on for this. YouTube, I got this big package that I don't remember ordering. Tina told me what it was, and I want to see if anyone in chat remembers uh, what it was. It's not a controller, no. I don't know, uh... I don't know how long ago that this happened, but, uh, 
It's not the Q you figure. The Q you figure is not this big. A while ago. Hold on, chat. It has nothing to do with Yakuza. Holy shit. I'm trying to find a good way to, like, show it off. A couple months ago, uh, there was a tweet going around. Of like, hey man, the Mandalorian's brand new. Check out this sweet statue of Baby Yoda. And I'm like, fuck dude, that's a lot. There's no way I'd buy it. I don't even watch the show. And then somebody, <laughs> Ferris I believe, donated the money for me to buy it. So I bought it. And I forgot about it. And it's here today. <laughs> Hold on. I will open it. Hold on. It is. Oh boy. Hold on. Hopefully, there's no assembly. How do you assemble a green baby? All right, hold on one second, chat. I don't want to break it because this was. This was expensive. I think it was six hundred and fifty dollars. I haven't even seen the show. All right, let me see here. I don't even know where I'm gonna fucking put this. Oh, I wish I had a box cutter. Let me mute this quickly because it can be a lot of loud noises. Ladies and gentlemen. There's more to it, but uh. My new baby boy. There he is. There he is. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's actually kind of cute. To be honest with you. It does look, it looks way too real. Like, kind of uncomfortably real. Is he heavy? No, not really. He want, like, he, like, got him with one hand. I just don't want to drop him because it's very expensive. <laughs> His fucking head! And then you have, uh... <laughs> He's just peeking out. And then you just have, um... You just have the stand... And it says, uh, Star Wars The Mandalorian life-size figure. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, hold on. Is he too big? He's too big for all these shelves, right? Uh, he is kind of big. Where the fuck am I going to put this? Either way, this thing is, uh, <laughs> extremely well-made. Uh... Hell yeah. They did a good job with this. I gotta find somewhere to put this. Um, I don't know where quite yet, but we'll try to have him on camera as much as possible. But there's my son. Can I move his, uh, no, his hands are, or his hands are down. <laughs> on my lap. Let's see. Oh. I put a fucking... I put a plasma grenade in there from Halo. That's kind of weird. It's kind of game like this. <laughs> Just play like this. You can't see him. Oh, hold on. 
There you go. Much better. Play the game, Papa. Play the game. Baby Yoda cam. <laughs> I foam on my face? Oh, probably. Stream with my son. Uh-oh. Goodbye. So that's a ball, apparently. It's magnetic. All right, I'll have to look into that. I can't believe I bought this. And I forgot about it. Fucking styrofoam everywhere. We sure that's foam? Uh, it might be dried cum. Oh, no, it's foam. It came off too easily. Surprise Christmas gift to myself. Hold on, I gotta finish some stuff here, chat. I'll pause it again for YouTube. YouTube, we'll be right back again. All right, unpause for YouTube. That was, that was a wild couple of minutes. I got styrofoam and plastic everywhere, a green child. All right, back to this. So what happened? Oh, we just had sex. Hell yeah, boys, we did it. And uh, I guess Ethan kicked us out. All right, sure. Oh, yeah, we just had a child. Uh, can I not go in my room? I oh, okay. I guess I can go in my room. Yeah, I had, a, I had a green child. Little baby Yoda. I know, like, he has a proper name now, but I'm just gonna keep calling him Baby Yoda because I don't know the name. Dude, when did... Uh-oh. Mako Omega. When are they going to make a Pedro Pascal doll? Yeah, Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. It's a raid! Chad, this is when we raid somebody. Oh, Telefono. What am I doing? Hello? Why are my legs not working? No, fuck. What are my legs doing? Please, camera! Oh my god. Ethan! Come on, what was the damn number? Uh, it was 207. They just showed it. Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Ah, shit! We gotta go, boys. We gotta go! Shisha! He's still on the move! Shisha again! He's making a run for it! He's on the balcony! You'll never catch me alive, coppers! Unless I fuck up, and then there's a very good chance you will indeed catch me alive. Oh, hey, man. Whoa. Oh, fuck. Uh, this way. Oh. Oh, up, up. Up to the roof! This plan is super well thought out. I don't know where I'm going after this. Is this Catch Me If You Can too? I wit. Dude, that movie was so good. I think I saw that movie in like high school or some shit. Oh, I probably should have gone over. Holy fuck. I appreciate these guys not shooting me. Oh, whoop. Yep. Hep up. Hep up. Stop. You're never gonna catch me. Alright. How high are we? I have a feeling we have a choice about jumping. Oh, fuck. Uh. Oh, uh, we could survive this. Easy. Go. Wait, we got this. Easy. Round. Easy. See you later, bitch. Holy fuck. 
Hey, the tarp broke my fall. All right, yeah, oh, see, we're good. We're good, I think. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're good, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, chat, we're good. Stop. Stop in the name of the law. Ah, bitch. Bye, bitch. Hey, what's the matter with you? Ha ha! Fuck you, boys! Don't know why the cops weren't nearby with a fucking car or something. Maybe shoot off the tire. I don't know. Anyway, I got the achievement, lover boy. So. Uh, I stole the cash cab. I did. Alright. What do we have here? The probably origami killer. Was that... Was the doorknob in the middle of that... What the fuck? What kind of door is that? Why is the doorknob Lauren? in the middle? Hey, what's up, Lauren? I'm sorry, Scott. Sorry for what? Oh, fuck. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. <sighs> Thank God. Well, that's not true. No I got my son right there. Your investigation is <gasps> Oh. For good. Goodbye. Do I understand? Uh, as the father of a brand new green baby, yes, I do understand. We are underwater. Okay, well, that's not good. Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy? Lauren, no. Oh, she's yeah. taking a nap. Yeah. Great. Shit. Uh oh. Water! Uh. She's out cold. She ain't waking up. Okay. Oh, I see. That's actually pretty smart. I guess having a car from fucking 1813 might be actually beneficial here. There we go. I could leave her, but I mean, I feel like that'd be kind of fucked up even for me. Wait, should, don't I have to cut her, like, things loose? Wait, wait, wait. Lauren! Lauren, wake up! Oh, I think we Oh, maybe I could just... Lauren! Oh, no, she, I think... Oh, wait, 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 yeah. There we go. I think it's time to go! I think it's time to go! I <gasps> hope this saves her. But I don't know. Oh, I got her. Okay. Okay. If I was going to carry her like that, I'm not even sure if I need to un untie her wrists, but we're good. <laughs> Dude, this is, this is some heavy rain, chat. You are right. God damn. I was gonna take up swimming again. This isn't exactly what I had in mind. You got a car back at your place? Mine's obviously pretty fucked up. Yeah, sure. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go settle a few scores. Come on, I'll take you home. I'll lock your doors and windows and don't let anybody in but me, okay? Be careful, Scott. I don't want to lose you. Man, you don't even know what kind of monster I am, allegedly. I think I killed her kid. Allegedly. Swimming instructor. The VA sounds like she doesn't care. She probably doesn't. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Let's go, baby! Oh, right. Sorry. Gotta put the car in drive. What's up, bitch? All right, I guess I didn't think of my plan past this. Oh, hell yeah. We capping some fools? Oh, wow. All right. What? That's six. Oh! It's eight. Is this gonna be one of those weird cutscenes where I never reload? That's ten. I feel like I'd be running out of bullets in my magazine. And... Very soon. Oh, bye. Yeah, I think we would've had to reload by now. We're at thirteen. Also, the gun sounds so, like... Sounds like an airsoft gun. Yeah, dude. Stay back! Don't come near me, or I'll shoot! <clears throat> Fucking asshole. There's like 18 shots. Your idiot son killed all those kids, didn't he? He's the origami killer. No, no, he's innocent. He's not a killer. Not a killer. You're a fucking liar. Now tell me the truth. No. No, please! Don't hurt me! Last chance. I don't know. I swear. I don't know anything. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh! Stop. Stop. I beg you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything. Uh, Gordy... Gordy always wanted his fun, you know? He wanted to, to be like the origami killer. He kidnapped that kid and he held him under the water for a little too long. Another dead kid. It was an accident. An unfortunate accident. Seems like murder to me, homie. He just wanted to play. He told me everything. He was crying. He was so sorry for what had happened. Whatever he did. Gordy... Gordy is my son. Really? I kill all those. Don't miss him. What? That boy, Gordy killed. No one will miss him. The street trash, like so many others. Why would you even say you that? Disgusting pile of shit. I was just about to walk out. And what about John Shepard? Why did you put flowers on his I, grave? I own the construction site where he died. I never forgot. I've been putting flowers on his grave for 30 years. John had a twin brother. What happened to him? I don't know. He was adopted, I think. His mother? His mother should know. Her name is Anne. Anne Shepard. My heart! My heart! Quickly! I need my pills! In that draw! There! Nah, fam. See you later. Shelby! Come back! No one's gonna miss you, dude! You're just like street trash! I'll see you later!
Bye, bitch. Yeah, dude, people leave. Fucking bye. Ooh, almost a full five inches. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's heavy. That's some heavy rain. Yo, Mav, thank you for the seven months, man. Dude, when the hell am I going to do that final fucking trial? Hello, I'm looking for Ann Shepard's room. Please sign the visitor's book. All right, my name is Horace... Horison. Are you a member of the family? Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she'll be pleased to have a visitor. No one ever comes to see her. With the Alzheimer's, she has trouble remembering things, but it'll still please her, you know. Thanks, Dolores. It's room 19 at the end of the corridor. I hope I Thank use you. my real name because I'm a fucking idiot. Room 19. <laughs> Dude, of course she has Alzheimer's. Yeah, of course, dude. Oh, wait. I'll give her some flowers. Or that's just to look at the flowers. Never mind. Okay, try to do something nice. Get fucked me. Didn't we have a good time in heavy rain? I mean, we're having a good time. Hello, Mrs. Shepard. Is it time for my pills already? No, Mrs. Shepard, I... They're never on time with my pills. I don't know what they do here. In the other hospital, they were always on time. But here... My name is Madison Page. Oh, she's going to forget anyway. We're fine. We give her our name. I'd like to ask you some questions about your son. Give her our social, too. I don't like this hospital. The food isn't very good, you know. That's a lot of outlets. You're not wrong. Uh, let's do John. Do you remember John? My Johnny. He is a good little boy, you know. You had a son named John, and John had a twin brother. Do you have my pills? It's time for my pills. Your other son, Mrs. Shepard, John's twin brother. What was his name? What other son? I have no other son. I never had any children. This is going well. Mrs. Shepard, your son may be linked to a series of murders. Perhaps you have some information that could help the investigation. Are you a new nurse? Where are my pills? Mm. Try to remember, Mrs. Shepard. John's twin brother was placed with a foster family after the accident. What was the name of the foster family? I asked them for a television, you know. They said I didn't have enough money. It's a pity. I'm fond of television. Oh, an origami book, huh? I'm putting my hand on. Interesting. I know what happened at Carnaby Square. Do you remember? Carnaby Square. I think I used to live there a long time ago. We didn't have much money at the time, you know. We had to make do with very little. I think your son is in trouble, Mrs. Shepard. He's done some terrible things. I need to find him. Do you understand? Terrible things you're telling me. He never came to see me, can you believe it? In ten years, never. No one forgets their mother, do they? Hmm. Can I not, like, turn... Oh, God, not again. I'm going to sit and stare at you.
Did you make these origami figures? My little paper animals. They played with them for hours. I showed my boys how to make them, you know. Yes, your boys, Mrs. Shepard. John boys. and what was your other son's name again? My other son? I only had one son. My little Johnny. <laughs> She's the origami killer. Oh, oh, that camera. Thank you. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. There you go. It's a giraffe. I love origami, but that's not my favorite one. Bitch. Okay. Guess we'll fucking turn the page. How do you feel about a hummingbird? Oh my god. Whoops. Am am I the origami killer? What do you think? How about this one? How you feel about this? I love origami. But that's not my favorite one. Okay, what's the next one? All right. Hey, a dog. Everybody likes dogs, right? All right. There we go. Make a dog. A little, little pupper, pupperino. LB. Huh? Oh, you know how to do these little dogs, too. Hell yeah. My children loved origami. I taught them how to do it. John loved the little dogs. He always wanted to call them Max. Max, Max, Max. All dogs with the same name. I was wasting my time telling him they couldn't all have the same name. <laughs> but he always wanted his paper dogs Max. It's funny, isn't it? Kind of. Is there anything I could... Anything else I could fuck with in here? No, I can't interact with that anymore. Uh, I feel like that Max thing is important. I mean, she said it eight times. Oh. You don't seem to get many flowers, Mrs. Shepard. No, but I love them. What's up, glasses? My son knows that I love flowers. I know he'll bring me some. Hmm. Are these your children, Mrs. Shepard? John and his brother? Is that them? They're good little boys. Their father never looked after them. Always drinking. They didn't have an easy life, you know. Alrighty. Uh, is that everything? She, I don't think we're gonna get that other name. Is there anything else to interact with? Uh, that's just leaning on the bed. I think that this is leaning on the bed, right? Or sitting on the bed. I guess we're done. Uh. I'm gonna go, I guess. Oh, the bathroom! Fucking. Hidden bathroom. Shit! Oh, wait, can I get these flowers at least? Wait, can I go back in? I can't go back in. Alright, hold on. Let me get these flowers for her. Let me get the flowers and go to the bathroom. Does Mrs. Shepard ever talk about her past? It's not all very clear to her now. Sometimes she'll remember the oddest things, though. I suppose if she sees something that reminds her of her past... Did she ever mention her sons? Sons? Well, she often mentions John. I, I think he drowned. Yo, Peach Boat with the 69 months. 
Nice. I didn't know she had another one. I've never heard her mention it. Does she get many visitors? She's been here for ten years, and you're the first. Sometimes, if you show her things, it seems to trigger a memory from her past. You might get it to remember. Thanks for the advice. I guess the, the Max thing she kind of remembered. Please let me grab these flowers for her. Please. Oh, I just teleported. Here we go. I don't know why I'm holding it like that, but okay. Let me give the lady something. Okay. What a lovely orchid. My sons loved orchids. We used to grow them in the back. When John died, I laid orchids on his grave. I cried when they told me. I'd already lost one of my children, and now they were taking away another one, you understand? The foster family, Mrs. Shepherd. What was the name of the foster family that adopted John's brother? They were really very nice people. I met them, you know. In the beginning, I used to go and see my little boy. And then I got sick and I couldn't go any longer. Perhaps he thought I'd forgotten him. He must have thought I didn't love him anymore. His name, Mrs. Shepherd. What was his name? But I loved him. If you only knew how much I missed him. I don't know who you're talking about. Please, Anne. We don't have his name. His name. What was his name? Come closer. She's going to burp in my ear. Guess I got the info I needed. All right. She gave you a wet willy. <laughs> oh, we're back, dude. We're back. The last letters, huh? Okay. Over five inches. Oh, this is... Looks like something out of Mirror's Edge. Oh my god. Can you fucking slow down? You're walking too fast, dude. Whoa. Why are we going so fucking fast? Oh yeah, I cut off his finger immediately. And then I tried to cauterize it, but I couldn't. Apparently I had to do that before I cut his finger off. I cut it off immediately and, like, left. This is unsettling. Oh, good. The last trial. The last question. Are you prepared to give your life to save your sons? There is a deadly poison in this file. It will kill you in exactly 60 minutes. If you drink it, you will get the last letters of the address. You will have enough time to save your son and say goodbye to him, but then you will die. You can drink the file or decide to leave. The choice is yours. Bombs away! This is 99% of people when they take a sip of Malta. That did look like bath water. Was that Belle Delphine's bath water? My god. <laughs> it was laced.
wow, they really gave you nothing until the last one, then they give you 90% of it. Alright, well, that was, uh... That was easy, I guess. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Don't you need different amounts of poison to, like, kill or affect people because of different heights and sizes and all that shit? Are we sure this is even gonna fucking kill me? Also, that could just be, like, water. <laughs> All right, this fucking guy. We've only got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. But that's reality science. That's fair. A goddamn clue somewhere. That's fair. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles. All packed up and ready to go. Hey, what's up, numb nuts? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. We no longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. This fucking guy. Blake, you are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. I'll take that as a compliment. Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. Origami. I'm having the shakes! Oh my god, dude. I didn't even get a choice. I'm gonna fucking die because of that. I'm gonna OD because of this fucking... This goddamn G Fuel. Killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. I just took a fucking hit. Oh, one last thing, sir. Oh, hey, guy. You should be careful not to overindulge in you. It can be dangerous. Very oh yeah, dangerous. snorting mysterious blue liquid is dangerous. End up killing you. Holy you shit! No way. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Anyway, we're back in the matrix. All right, I guess we'll look at some clues here. We got some from the uh, the club. Uh oh, and the um and the garage. Oh, we got- we saw that one already. Fuck. Uh, oh, here we go. That's what we want. Uh, nope. Wrong way. Wrong way. Yeah, it's the new shit right here. I was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Uh, analyze. Uh, and, whoop. Fuck. Uh, oh, uh, play. I don't know what I'm looking for. Uh. Oh, rewind. Nope, nope. Is it the watch? Oh, this is how the fuck am I gonna do this? Do I have to stop this at a specific point? Can I see the watch there? No, nope, not the god not the goddamn sword! I don't give a shit about the sword! The fuck the watch! Look at the watch! Oh, you son of a bitch. I hate these controls so much. Uh-huh. The watch. Can you even see the watch? Or is the watch earlier on? I think it's earlier on. I don't think you could see it there. Uh, Nope. Wrong way. 
All the way back. Oh, wait, fuck, fuck! There we go. Uh, uh, analyze. Ha ha! I'm sure I've seen this before. Somewhere. Yes. Yeah, it's the fucking watcher I gave five dollars to, and Chow's like five bucks. Like fuck you. I gave something. All right. So I mean, she's a cop because it's only for uh, was it lieutenants or some shit? The watch they give for promotions to lieutenant. The killer is a cop. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that was good. That was good. Uh, we have those, uh... Two these... receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Uh, let's see. Analyze. That uh, sucks. That doesn't get us anywhere. Alright, how about, uh, this? The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. What else do we have? Did we look at this already? Oh, wait. What's this question mark? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake. That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Uh, investigate further. I don't think that's right. Uh, I didn't want to do that. A cop. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Oh, I think I... Alright. You don't think it's that asshole cop, do you? Because I don't... I, I don't think that's... Oh, we got the shakes again. Oh, boy. Dude, getting that watch was annoying. <laughs> Alright, I don't think it's him. Alright, what do we got here? Stay with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. The Hogwarts train. Way, Lauren. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise. Oh, I guess we're a thing now. Cool. Hey, I, uh, uh, killed your kid, allegedly. Want to make out? Am I gonna go fucking talk to my dad and he's gonna be so inebriated he's not gonna know what's going on? Rad. Kind of a weird walk cycle there. Chat, I don't think this dad is gonna be too rad. Sad. Please, please, Dad. You've got to save John. I tried, John. I really tried. 
No, he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. Hey, another uh, kid's dead. Baka Matai. Also, Scott, huh? Scotty! That's hella sad. Yikes. Oh, look what it is. Scotty! Now I'm gonna keep trying? Keep trying what? He's stuck under a pipe. He can't move him. I'm not even sure if his dad could have moved him, to be fair. Why would I throw the matches in there? Now I'm just burning the evidence. Yep. Burning all the evidence. Dude, that's why I got close. I went to grab the evidence to burn it to cover my tracks. I'm the oregano killer. Told you, man. Two first names. You couldn't trust them. That PS3 fire. Did he kill the baby too? No, actually, I helped with that baby. Oops. Cover up my tracks, dude. Yeah, burning everything. Are these the ledgers for the typewriters? Oh, no, that's what we got from uh, this guy. Oh, cool pictures, dude. Very sad, very dramatic. Well, I guess I did come to see her, but she didn't remember. I didn't get her a flower, dude. What the fuck? At least I got her a flower with Madison. <sighs> yeah, mom's dead, by the way. Oh, I did do it. I did kill him. Yikers. Scott Shelby, you son of a bitch. Gave him a little bop on the back of the head. Fuck, dude. Fuck. There's some plot holes in this, but uh, also you can kind of lean towards Scott pretty early on when they mention the typewriter and the typewriter's on his desk. <laughs> so, uh, I think the story's kind of cool. Not, you know, it's not great by any Housekeeping? It's not great by any means, but uh, I think it's a pretty cool story. The acting, though, good lord. 
Yeah, plot holes here in, in this game? No, no way. It's no, it's no, uh, Yakuza Zero, you're right. Fucking doorknob in the middle. The origami killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. I can't lock the door, huh? I don't want to leave. Um. Scott Shelby, the Shelbinator. What do we got? What was, uh. Oh, never mind. Take his inhaler! Ah, oh, fuck. Pussy. Take his... Alcohol. Alright. Um... Camera, please work with me. Uh... What else we got? Oh. What's in here? A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. This is... Ha this game has just dated itself. <laughs> Ooh, what's what's in here? Ooh, little little sneaky door. Whoops, little little sneaky door. Dude, massing kind of thick. Not gonna lie. Ah, the secret room. Yo, Danger Heart, thank you for the twenty-three months. Are oh, you growing pot in here? Oh no, they're orchids, right? This is the typewriter. Oh, I guess it was a different typewriter. Oh my god. Fuck. The camera is so bad. Okay. Um. Sean Mars. Oh! oh the lunatic's been watching him drown. Via the Some heavy rain. Well, filling up with rain. Slowly drowning him. Oh, there's not much time left. There, there, there must be something here showing where the well is. Oh, probably the laptop. I should stop farting around. Enter password. Shit, password. Uh. Oh, fuck. John. Fuck! Uh. Brain? Oh, boy. Oh, Max, the dog! Yes! Max. Mm. The name John gave to his paper dogs when he was a child. I knew that name would be important. What the hell is that? An address. Yes. Bob. It's gotta be where Sean Mars is. Hurry. There's no time to lose. I'm a fucking genius, dude. I'm the smartest man alive. So you found my little secret. Uh. Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son. Shut up. All right, babe, be safe. I'll see you later. I love you. Understand. Come back soon. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Yikes, don't bring that up. That was a mistake. Huh. Uh... Housekeeping. Oh, that looks... That sounded like that's where you break the wall. I'm going to assume this is like turbo locked. Yeah. All right. Uh... Oh, no, I know where the wall is. No, stop fucking knocking on shit. Oh, okay. And then you do... Maybe? Wait, no. What was that weird, weird noise she made there? Alright. Let's get out of here, homies. Alright, I'm out of there, boys. I'm out of there. Uh... Is that... 
Is that fire? Is that? Oh my God. All right, well, this, this ain't good. All right. She's got to stop going, yeah. They go make a path for me. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. It's way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. Gotta find something else. Don't jump. I feel like the game made a point to say that you'll die. So I'm not gonna. I think we got lucky with Ethan. I don't know if we'd get lucky again, to be honest. I'm not gonna. He just has one of those. He just has that sitting there. All right, the windows are no. Where the fuck is the door? His house ain't that big. Oh, here we go. Ow. Oh, what's in here? Uh. Oh, wait, can I Indiana Jones it? <gasps> oh, can I Indiana Jones? There's, there's no fucking way. Oh my God. Can I Indiana Jones this? Please. Oh, please say yes. <laughs> Is this gonna work? This oh my god, is this gonna work? Fuck, it worked. Yes. Yes. I wonder if I actually would have died if I jumped out that window. That does look pretty high. That looks like... That looks like that'll kill. Oh, uh... Uh, uh Ethan? I know where Sean is. I've got to tell Ethan. Oh, maybe I should have called Jaden. Because Ethan, or Ethan knows where it, know he is where already. Is. Whoops. He's at 852 oh, who cares about Jaden, though? He's still alive. No one gives a shit about Jaden. I'm on my way. Be careful, Ethan. The killer's still out there. No one's gonna stop me from saving my son. Sorry, I panicked. I panicked, chat. Oh, I'm gonna tell Ethan. Ah, oh, fuck, he knows. Well, doesn't Jaden know? Because it's an old warehouse. I think Jaden knows as well. He knows it's an old warehouse. He had like the spot pulled up. I don't think it matters. I guess we'll find out. I think I think what this is, is if you didn't do the trials, I think this is another way to tell Ethan where to go. But I don't know. Sean! Come 
looking for how long? Oh, yikes. Long time, Ethan. Shut! Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> oh, I searched and searched and searched. And then I remembered you. I have no idea how he died. I don't know how he died. I'm still, that's still bullshit that he died. Garbage. Oh, also, look. Look who was there. All those murders. Just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me. Yes. I've suffered. Just as much as my victims. Mate, see you later. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. You're not gonna give me a key or anything? Oh, fuck. Oh! Alright, thanks, Jaden. See, Jaden knows where, he are, uh, where to go. What am I- The fucking thing is locked, Ethan! Use your eyes, dude. Yeah. You fucking idiot. Uh, is there anything I can grab? Anything? Oh, hey. I didn't even see this. It's like kind of hidden by the debris. Yes! Oh, the grate, just like this rain, is so heavy! Can the kid not swim out at this point? I don't understand why he's still in there. Oh, he's underwater. That makes sense. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, fuck! He pulled a sneaky on us, chat. You know, if Norman dies here, I can live with that. I'm gonna try to not make him die, but... I don't really care about him, to be honest with you. Oh, damn. The cops just see this and they're not, uh, okay. All right. in position? Yes, Lieutenant. They're ready on your command. Perfect. He won't get away this time. We'll gun him down as soon as he shows his face. Oh, that's bad. Don't do that. Hey! You there! What are you doing? Lieutenant, my name is Madison Page. I'm a journalist. I have proof that Ethan Mars is innocent. He's not the origami hey, killer. what is a journalist doing here? I thought I told everybody to keep their mouths shut. Get her out of here. I don't want her getting in the way. Okay, Lieutenant. All right, come on. You're about to make a terrible mistake, Lieutenant. Ethan Mars is innocent. I can prove it. Still got this going on. Oh. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
Wow, you really got a mache here. What the fuck? There we go. Oh, right over here. Music change. Don't, don't have me, son. Please. Breathe. Gotta breathe. Do the, do the fucking staying alive thing. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't do it, shitter. I killed a man. I cut off my pinky. I drank poison. You better not fucking die. I'm gonna be pissed off. Yeah. Can I just yell Sean in his face? Sean! Tom Brady be like... <laughs> oh, he's alive! Pog! 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 Sean! Oh! Oh! I thought you were gone. Oh. Dad. I, I knew you'd come and oh. save me. Oh. Sean, listen. You are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! It was just Belle Delphine's bathwater. We're fine. Little tangy, but uh, we're good. We're looking good right now, chat. Ash, get her out of my face. Mars didn't do it for Christ's sakes. He's innocent. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Later, gamer. What am I doing? Look at me. I'm a distraction. I'm a distraction. Oh, I'm running in, I see. What do we do? All personnel, hold your fire. I repeat, hold your fire. Madison? What's going on? The cops. They're out there. They have the building surrounded. They'll shoot you if you go outside. I'll go out alone. I'll talk to them. I'll explain. Nope. Dead, Don't do that. Open your mouth. Look. We'll all go out together. With, with our hands in the air and... They can't possibly shoot us. I have the evidence that proves your innocence even. <laughs> Sean is just fucking lying there. Listen, I'm sorry I didn't trust you. <laughs> I was only thinking about Sean, and I thought... Holy fuck. He's alive, but he's just like... Oh, man. That's okay. Huh? The only thing that matters is that you saved your son. All right, that seems all cleared up. What happens with these boys? Hammer! Bonk. Fuck no, dude. Fuck you. You're probably gonna get up regardless. Oh, maybe not. Later, bitch. Goddamn kid killer, fuck off. All right. 
That went uh, pretty well, I think. All right. I think we're good. How did police not hear? Because of the heavy rain, dude. It's so heavy. Did I get the best ending? Or I, I think I got at least a good ending. I don't know if it's the best one. was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars who the police Dude, Ethan's alive, Madison's alive, no Shelby's dead. I don't care about the other guy. I don't care about Norman. I don't care what happens to him. Who cares? I don't give a shit. I can live with this one. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. I mean, he fell in a... Alright, whatever. Whatever, dude. Okay, yeah, the cops got him, sure. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! Well, what do you think? It's perfect, Ethan. Hell yeah. We'll be able to forget what happened. Yeah, where's where's the mom? We'll lead a normal life. And one day it'll all just seem like a bad dream. <laughs> Where Alright. We've earned the right to be happy now. Who Ethan. cares? We got Madison, baby! All three of us. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the mom did kind of put the cops on me, huh? Yeah, you know, fuck her. Fuck her. Who gives a shit? All right, happy ending for those three. I can live with that. <laughs> Our guest today is on the cover of Today's World magazine this week and has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Sure. Oh, he's taking a dump right now. He's taking a dump. What's he gonna do with the G Fuel? Is he gonna OD? Is he gonna throw it away? What is he gonna do, chat? He's getting rid of the G Fuel! I don't need it anymore, bitch. Hell yeah. I feel like this is all good so far. I think we're making some good moves. So far, so good. So is the glove on. I don't, don't you take both of them off? No. Is 
the fuck was that? All right. I don't even know what that means. Sure. Cool. All right. Whatever. You killed my son, Scott. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. Yeah, dude. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. <laughs> I mean, we did save her for what it's worth. I feel like that was a good ending. I think we got it. I think that was good. Was that the best ending? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened with Norman and he's like in the AR world or some shit. I don't know what the fuck that's about, but everything else made sense. Yo, Reptile Mike, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. Yo, uh, Atulozer. That name's probably backwards. Thank you for the five-month resub. He lost his mind? Oh, I don't... I mean... What's his good ending, then? What the fuck happens with Norman if that's not his best ending? He quits the FBI? Oh. Okay. Sure. I mean, he also had the glove on when he was seeing those, like, tanks or some shit. Who cares? He sucked anyway. What a garbage character. Yeah, that was a solid, uh... That was a solid, uh, solid three out of five game, I'd say. So it's pretty average. He becomes a VTuber. That wasn't bad. That was fun to play on stream. Uh, did you see YouTube? You can rewind this, but there were two voice actresses for Madison. For some reason? Interesting. I thought there'd be two voice actors for Ethan for that one scene. Oh, was it likeness and voice actor? That makes sense. Yeah, I, I can see how this game in 2009 or 2010, whenever it came out, was... I don't know if revolutionary is the right, right word, but seeing how it was uh, taking people by storm. Now in 2020, it's all right. Like I said, I think the story's pretty good, all things considered. The characters and the voice acting are... They, they're okay. The, the camera is so bad. The camera in this game is so, so bad at times. And the, the quick time events was, uh, weren't too bad, but I wasn't doing anything with motion. I recommend uh, playing it with on PC with an Xbox controller, so you don't have to do any motion shit. The cameras, the camera does feel like a Resident Evil game, but not as good. If that makes any sense.
No, I'm not interested in Beyond Two Souls. I've heard from like almost everybody I've talked to that Beyond Two Souls is too long and it blows, so I don't think I'm going to play Beyond Two Souls. I think I'm good with David Cage games for now. Maybe in the future we'll play Indigo Prophecy, but I think I'm good. What's next? Uh, for the rest of this stream, how long are we going? Uh, about three hours. Guess we could do a little bit of shiny hunting. Just kind of hang out for another hour or so. Uh, but as far as like the next full stream on Friday, we're going back to Super Mario Galaxy. Gonna start working, uh, working on 100%. I played Until Dawn already. I, uh, Until Dawn is definitely better than this. Um, and Detroit Become Human is also way better than this. They figured their shit out by the fifth game. No, I haven't started the Overwatch Winter event yet. I don't know how bad it is, like, achievement-wise. I'm waiting to see if there's anything after the credits. I'm going to assume there's not, but I'm waiting just in case. Alex says there's one annoying achievement. Can, is it boostable or no? Yo, Random Citizen, thank you for the 13 months. I have to check it out myself? Okay. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. This was, uh, this was a fun playthrough. I'm glad, uh, glad I finally sat down and did it. I've been putting it off for, like, years, I felt like, but we reached the sub goal, and I'm glad we got to experience it together. And we got, like, the best ending, or at least a very good ending. I don't, I don't know. I feel like that went pretty well. I, like, saved... As many people as I could, I guess. I have to go watch the uh, other endings later. I think I remember someone saying there's an ending where Ethan, like, hangs himself. So that's... That's something. Oh, I didn't save Kramer. No, I killed Kramer. I killed the drug dealer guy. But, you know, collateral damage, dude. If he doesn't save his son, he hangs himself. Pog. There's one where he shoots himself. Nice, dude. Nice. Yo, Preston, thank you for the gifted subs. Yo, YouTube, if you made it this far into the credits, uh, let me know what you, you uh, thought of the game. Also, can we get a... Uh, what Chat, what should YouTube write in, write in the comment section? Oh, dude. Yo, yeah, chat, if you made it this far, write Jason or Sean in all caps. Whichever team you're on, Team Jason or Team Sean. Can you save Jason? I don't think so. That seems like a scripted cutscene. Also, Jason dying, like, spirals Ethan out of control. Oh, nothing. Oh, let me let me check out the extras. Uh, extras. Achievements. Did I get all these achievements? Oh no no no. Okay. Or did I? Oh, I think I did. I don't have all the achievements. There's no way because there's multiple playthroughs. But got a good amount. It looks like. Nice. Uh, what's bonus? Concept art. Yeah, normal stuff. All right, so that's a, that's a wrap on Heavy Rain. Thank you so much for watching, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. I had a good time with it. Like I said, solid three out of five. It was great to play with chat. And uh, I think if I played by myself, I would have been like, eh. This seems one of those games that it's fun to play with an audience and everyone reacts to your your uh, deci decision-making, good or bad. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. YouTube, I'll see you later. People in chat, 
Uh, if you're heading out, see you later. If you want to hang out and listen to some tunes while we just shiny hunt, then uh, hang out, man, because that's what we're going to be doing for like the next hour or so. Goodbye, YouTube. Oh, chat. Wait, hold on. YouTube, one more time. My son, he says goodbye. Thank you for watching the playthrough. We hope you enjoy. Uh, we love you. Goodbye.